it's time to play as Conan the Barbarian. Yes, we have made a Conan character with two giant uh, axes. And he is all barbarian out. And we're gonna go do some quests. We're gonna dungeon crawl, do some dungeons, and just screw around with this guy. I'm not using any magic on this guy. I'm trying to go no magic. He does have special abilities, like that might be magical with the, if the weapons have magic on them, but I'm not actually going to be using them. I want to be using two weapons at all times, either two axes, two maces, two swords, things like that. Um, but what we want to do is we want to do some dungeons, and we want to get better equipment, we want to upgrade these weapons, we want to get the items to let us upgrade weapons so that we can get better higher, more powerful weapons and stuff. Conan is soaking wet, so he's looking dark. Alright, so here we go. There's a dungeon right here that we're going to do first. We want to go through... There's a couple dungeons we want to get to and go through. And then, um... That will allow us to give what the these certain items called bell bearings to the uh, merchants in the in our in our main hold and then the merchants will be able to sell us equipment to upgrade our weapons so that's kind of what we're doing here we got to see there could be you got to look on the edges of these caves cuz sometimes there's there see that there's an extra cave there's a cave off to this side that we've got to jump to. Psh, there we go. Anything in here? No? It's just that? There were no... no extra things around. Oh, there's another cave down there. get to in here, huh? Alright. That looks like the way down, right? And then over here. And then down to the bottom. No, we, we gotta go this way, right? Yeah. Tez is here! Super Conan Geek Show! Thanks again for jumping on the Specky... the Z Spectrum... Zed yesterday, John. Michael Reed. Hey, hey, good day. Just wanted to jump on before bed. Enjoy your game. Good to see you, Michael. Thanks for popping in and saying hello. Tez, always good to have you here. Cool, cool. I'm live on the PlayStation, Tez, so you, and Michael, so you can't really... Um, I'm not on StreamYard, you know what I mean? I'm just on the PlayStation itself, so... You could pop on, if you have a PlayStation, you could pop on and join a group with me, and we can just chat while I play, but you'd have to watch on the screen, you know, you know what I mean? I don't think you can necessarily watch on the PlayStation. I don't know how that, I don't know how that really works. He's like, total barbarian! <laughs> I just wanted to play a different... There's something back there. Look at that. Somber Smithing Stone 3. And we have a chest here. Let's see what we get. Search treasure chest. Somber Smithing Stone 2. Ooh. Oh, this. Love this. Look at this moves. That he can do. It's like total Conan. <laughs> and then we have this heavy move. And we have this other really like wind up heavy move. And then oh there's one more move. We have the 
Do these charge? No, these these axes don't charge up. There's a some of them have a charge up move too. Now I think technically these guys die quicker on if you have a mace. I only have one mace, so I don't... Hmm. Hammer strike weapon. I need one... I need a second hammer strike weapon, actually. Um... Maybe we can... Maybe we can just put that on as a second weapon. I think that mace does pretty good damage. Let's see, so the axe does that much. And the mace took him out. Okay. Yeah, see I think I think these guys die quicker with maces than Cause it's like they're made of crystal, you know? Yeah, that only took two hits. Where could I get... I think I can go back to... We have... Okay, we have this... Saved here, right? Well, I think we're gonna have to go... I think I wanna run back to the... My main base and pick up another mace. Another hammer weapon, because... These guys... Because we got this... Open now. I can just teleport right back here, I think. So this is... which one? This is... Crystal Tunnel. Okay. I don't think I can teleport from here. Yeah, they're all... they're all marked out. Yeah. I gotta go pick up a... Jack, hey John, did you beat the Elden Beast at the end and Molina? Well, I missed it the first time. Yes, I have finished... I did, um, finish the game with my mage. And, uh, I've started a Conan character as a second character. But I wanted to go back and get a, a helmet. And I actually started the second quest with my mage. And got him up to, like, He's like level almost... I think he's like 250. So he's really high up there. But, um... I kind of wanted to run around. The only thing I've done with this guy is vigor and strength. I've done no other stats. So... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm having a ball just playing with two... Two weapons. So... With no magic at all. So I'm, I'm having a blast with this. And... I wanted to sort of try out some of the stuff with this guy. So I'm... I did Godric, I think it was, right? Hammer, weapon, mace. Yeah, so I can buy this one. And then... I accidentally killed Patches because I was, I was so... like... I don't know, it was like I was so powerful that Patches died in like two hits and I'm like what the hell? Like <laughs> cause I didn't know that your weapons were that strong. Like when I had to when I did used magic on Patches with my mage it was like it took three or four hits before he started cowering in fear but 
I did the one special move that these guy that this guy has, and it like destroyed patches. So I was like, oh, so now I have patches bell bearing here. Well, where are to eat my match? Lay out your own. Let's see how far I can take these. So up to four. Let's see what the other one is. Let's see. This one. And that one will be three. Alright. So I want to put that one on that hand and this one on this hand. And then we could put an Ash of War on that. Whoops, no. Ash of War on this one. Let's try this. Do wild strikes. I don't understand why it's going down in power. Because I have a lot of I have a lot of strength, and it's raising it from a D scaling to a B scaling, but it says it lowers its damage. That's... Oh, wait, but no, it'll end up being more overall, won't it? Let me, let me just see something real quick here. So let's go to stats. Right armaments 220 and 197. And then if we I have a feeling it's gonna be more. Watch. Back already, no matter. Yeah, two twenty two. See, yeah, it went up just two points, but <laughs> still <laughs> yeah. Alright. And can we coat these then with... Can we also coat them with... While I'm here, I need to see if she's gonna give me that so that dagger yet. I am pleased. Would you like... Now, come closer. No, R.I.P. patches. Yeah, it's because I what I did is I used the Ash of War. I, I attacked him with one of my Ash of War powers that was on my axes, and it was enough damage to like kill him. So I didn't I didn't understand like I guess I didn't realize how powerful that Ash of War was, and um, so like I had to give the ball bearing to the. Thing, so she doesn't have it yet. Oh, what else? Whatever. Anyways, we gotta go back to the cave now. Because those... So we're going back here. So we're going... We're, we're going for bell bearings. Where that's what our goal is. We want to go to this cave and get bell bearing one. And then we're going to go to a different cave and get bell bearing two. Which could be a little bit of a drive. We might have to do a little bit of running around to get to the second cave. But we're going to... We're going to try and see if we can get there. All we've done on Conan is kill Margit, the first boss, and God, Godfried or Godstroke or whatever the hell his name is in the Stormvale Castle. So there, we've only really killed two of the big bosses. Um, so what's this... Kind of a weird. I don't know, I guess that's okay. 
What was our other option? We had another option here. Let's see. I don't have a lot of Ashes of War to choose from right now. But, um... Ashes of War. Let's try... I know what the stomp does. Let's try this one. It changes it to a C rating. And this one adds intelligence, but it lowers the strength rating a lot. Wow. So standard works better for this for now. And what does this one do? Oh, that's cool. That's kind of cooler, isn't it? I think I like that better. And then we have the, t the double strikes with our two bases. Like that, yeah. Yeah. I kind of like that better. Oh, we're out of math. Cause, so these guys are... Yeah, supposed to be weak to maces, so we should... What's on the... Um... like extra beacons up. I don't know what that was. I thought that would make him go like I thought that would make him go have to be ducked in order to do the... the... the critical hit? I thought you could just do it if you're behind him. So I can't get down right now, right? Oh, but I can walk across that board, can I? What does that get me? Force is here. Hey John. Hey Taz. Michael. Jack. How you guys doing? Hasbro Pulse P orders are up. If you're thinking of ordering any, uh, I don't know. G Force. I'm. That Princess Leia is interesting. I'm, but the thing is, I'm limiting my. I, I'm. I'm just. I'm just really limiting right now what I get with with. Black Series, Marvel, and everything. Um, I don't... There wasn't really anything that was old trilogy, and I don't... I don't need the comic book versions. I don't know. I'm not... There's more Transformers I saw lately that I want than I did to, 
like Star Wars, you know? <laughs> Surprisingly, for once, there's like five or six Transformers that I want to pick up, you know? I'm, I'm like, I'm surprised. There's usually only one or two, but... Good lord, this is... These are like just on the edge of, like, too close. So you almost jump over them when you're trying to jump onto them. <laughs> wow. Crazy. Can I get that piece on the wall? Eh, I don't need it. Can I jump over there, or am I gonna die? I think I can jump over there, right? Let me do a running jump. I don't know what was going on there, but... And then I can't get below. That was way too far to go down, yeah. Oh, was Jesse up for order now? Oh. Yeah, I could probably go on and get Jesse, because I don't have him as a single. Damn it, now you got me looking real quick. I'm gonna look real quick. I didn't know he was gonna go up. Let me let me check here. Yeah, now you got me checking here. Hold on a second. Yeah, I might get Jesse and Shay Vizsla. Oh, Shay's sixteen dollars. What the hell is that? Is she gonna be twice like? Is she going to be cheaper, though, on Amazon? Like, did you see that the last time they did that? They, they were cheaper on Amazon? I'm going to check Amazon. Sorry, this is boring, boring watching right now, but... Um, They are! They're cheaper on Amazon! This is crazy. They're only $13.99 on Amazon. This is nuts. What the hell?
Let's try freaking Dan here. No, they don't have freaking Dan up. Is it friggin? Like, oh, it's frig, figrin, figrin. Big Rin. Yeah, they don't have Figrin Dan up there. Let's try the Mandalorian. Oh no, they do have Figrin. Here he is. Yep, they got him. What? And he's two dollars cheaper. What the hell? I'm ordering him on Amazon then. This this is dumb. It's a dollar cheaper on Amazon. And the other one is Super Commando. Yep, he's a dollar cheaper on Amazon too. That's crazy. Why is Saw Gerrera $33.99? Why is he deluxe? That makes no sense. He just comes with a stick. That's ridiculous. Not buying him, that's crazy. So, yeah, they were all cheaper on, on Amazon. That's crazy. I talked myself out of the Death Trooper 4 pack and G-Force is like, sorry everyone for, for delaying me, right? That's really weird, Hasbro. Yeah, they... They seriously were all one... That one was $3 cheaper, one was $2 cheaper, and all the rest were $1 cheaper on Amazon. So I just ordered the ones I wanted off Amazon. And uh, Saw Gerrera was... Thirty-three ninety-nine on Amazon, which I think is the same price as Hasbro Pulse. 
so there's no advantage. That was just wild crunch. Crunch on that guy. This is kind of a cool cave with the blue glow. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Something shoot! Ah, no! <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> I thought I was falling to my doom, and I landed in a different area. I was like, no, I'm gonna fall, and I was like, oh. I didn't really fall. <gasps> Alright, let's see here. him. got that guy, we got this guy, okay, so we're all good. So now it's either go this way through a tunnel, and there's a way down, or was there a tunnel under here? No. So the only other tunnel was off to this side up here, right? So we got this tunnel to clear out. Whoops! I hit the wrong button there. The only thing is Amazon didn't have Shea Vizsla, so that was your own. That's the only negative, I guess, is that you, if you want Shea Vizsla, you gotta pay the $17 from Hasbro. But 17 again, $17 for a vintage collection figure is a bit ridiculous. Alright, so there was the extra, there's the extra bonus cave. It was off to this side. The only black series I'd be interested in is Saw Gerrera, but I'm not interested in paying $33 for him. Can we land on that little thing right there? Yeah. Another stone. Now what? We have to, we have to go land on that wooden platform, right? Oh, wait a minute. This is this is down. We've been working our way down. I thought at first this was the same spot we were at, but no, it's a different We're like down way down the thing, aren't we? Now my friend Vinny, now Vinny's calling. Vindiana Jones is calling. Hey Vinny. Well, you're I'm on a live stream, so you're on the live stream with me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Have fun at Universal, man. I will, bro. Yeah, <laughs> see ya. Alright, bye. 
That was funny. That was Vinny, Vindiana Jones, Vinny. From uh, Twitter. This is this. This is this basically is the starter area, and we've just so now we've unlocked this. So if we die, we can do a quicker way of using this lift to get back down to where we were. Oh, do they really? So G Force is saying they have Shea Vizsla pictured, but they're calling it Bib Fortuna. So if we order it, do we get Shay or do we get Bib? <laughs> like, who's going to show up in the mail? <gasps> oh, it's starting to rain. We got a rain, pouring rain situation here. Oh, jeez. That guy came from out of nowhere. Scaring the crap out of me. More stones. That looks like there should be a secret there. See how that looks like a cave? So like this should be a wall you could break, but it doesn't break. It sure looks like it would be. It says in stock, so I think it's Bib for two. Yeah, you're probably right if it's in stock. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Look how many arrows are stuck in my guy. My gosh, I can't even frickin' attack. This is a little ridiculous. Look how many arrows are in my guy. How is that possible? <laughs> Some of them are straight through my body. Look at them. You can see the arrow tips on the other side. That is really ridiculous. Look at that one's going straight through my arm and out the other side. That's absolutely crazy. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. That was, that was just a little bit ridiculous right there. hear that?
He was doing the General Grievous. Could you guys hear that thunder in the in the in the over the microphone? Wow, it's going again. There is a big thunderstorm going on outside. So, I feel like there was another area that I didn't exactly get to. I don't need to be ducked. That worked. So yeah, now I can call this elevator to take us down to where we were and skip that other part. Whoa! I just saw a massive lightning strike out the window. That was crazy. It's so bright! <laughs> oh crap! It's like we're getting a tropical storm or something. So there's... Do I have anything I can shoot at them? Yes, I have. Actually, you know what? I want to put them over here. I need to use this also. That's better. Oh, there's a chest in that room. We have to get those guys out of there to get that chest. Explodes when thrown. little stone thing didn't really help, did it? Let's try this one. Let's see what this one does.
Oh, that one worked. <laughs> Too bad we only have one of those. Because I think there's one more guy in this room. What else do we got? Kill the other one? Wasn't there one more in here? There he is. I knew there was one more in here. That doesn't work through walls. guys are not fun. Crystal knife. Huh. How long does this wa thing last on my weapon? Oh, it's gone now. Okay, that's it. Big one. Nice, look at all those. All those stones mean we can help raise our weapons higher levels. And that's the goal of this, is we want to raise the level of all of our weapons. So there's a way down again, okay. Let's take out these guys, and then we'll go out that side tunnel. Doesn't it look like stuff should be like a fake wall to me? Like there should be like... There should be more ways to go. Secrets in here. See, I almost think that like every cave, like every area should have like a secret area thing. There's got to be like a jump off point on this one, right? So there's a spot we can jump onto. There it was. I saw it over there, didn't you? Yep, yeah, it's this way. It's over here. I guess these count as secrets because you're not going to see them right away. You got to look for them as you're going up the elevators. Oh, 
Oh, and here's the boss fight. Okay. Can I do this boss? How I don't even have any more magic. I've only got... I've only got two heal potions, even. Oh well, let's see what it let's see what it's like. would do better on her. So tonight at 7, I think, Eastern? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Boy, that would be midnight for guys in the UK. Um, over on Cap Cave's channel. Geek Strong, Vern, Cap Cave, and Dandy are doing the uh, Points of Articulation show where they're showing off custom things and that they make. And every week, I guess they're going to do a, um, a challenge for them themselves. This week the challenge was to see what they could do using hot glue. So I don't I mean I don't know how what you I guess they could do anything they wanted. Um, and they use hot glue to glue it together. <laughs> I don't know. But that'll be interesting to watch tonight to see what those guys come up with. Rolando, hello. How you doing, Rolando? Good to see you. I want to run. I'm going to run through this. I'm just going to book it. Because I don't... We don't need any of the drops. We got all the stuff in that area. And was it this one that went to the elevator? Yeah. Alright. going right back to the boss, because we don't need to... Are they going to follow me? Look, he stuck me in the butt with a arrow. try the wolves or we could try 
Banish Knight Abigail. Let's see what this guy does. Let's try him. Why not, right? Oh, wait. I hit the wrong one. Those are the skeletons. <laughs> wanted because now we can go back to our when we go back to our home base they will sell us all the stones we need to level up our weapons wow yeah the, the maces worked well on her she just shattered just totally broke her I mean she exploded with that mace hit teleport back to my home base here and we're gonna um turn in that bearing and then see how far we can upgrade our weapons because that's what we want to do is I guess we'll get the axes and the um these uh maces up as high as we can go Let me see, where do I have to go? Over here? I gotta turn in the bell bearing to this person. Offer the bell bearing. Offer Smith's bell bearing one. Yes. And now it'll let us purchase these. So we can purchase stones one and stone two. And that'll get your weapons up to plus six. Okay. Okay. And then... Alright. So let's see what we need. In the... By the fireplace. Yep, this guy. Well, I took you no matter it. Lay out your arms. We need smithing stone two. We need two more of those. All right, so we need two more smithing stone twos. Two more smithing stone two. All right. Smithing stone two. We need two more. Okay. And then we 
go by the fireplace and to the little smith guy. Back already, no matter. And we can go to seven, but we can't go up to eight unless we have smithing stone threes. So that's what we're going for next, is three and four. But... do want to raise our maces up. Smithing stone two, we need two, then we need four, and then we needed six, right? So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need twelve. Twelve for that mace and ten for that mace. So we need twenty-two. And then we're pretty much covered for... Can we buy 22? We can only buy 17. <laughs> Actually, no way we can do... Um... We have a lot of these things, so let's, let's break open a rune here. And then we can buy a few more. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There we go, 22. Back already, no matter. can't even use this sword yet. Huh. I mean, sometime I'd like to use two swords, but I'm, I'm not... I don't have enough swords yet to make anything worthwhile. Oh, we gotta see if we can upgrade some of these spirits. We can upgrade him. We don't like those two. So these need gl Grave Glove Wart 2, which we don't have. Ghost Glove Wart 2, which we don't have. So we don't have any of this stuff to do our spirits up. Alright, alright, we're going back. So now we're going to... So we're going to have to try and get our way from the Grand Lift into this new area. And in this new area, there's a dungeon up there that can get us the next step for leveling up our weapons. And we kind of want to get that so our weapons can be as powerful as possible before we go taking on any more bosses. So we're going to try and venture past this. I think we have the components to open this lift up. So we're going to open the lift and then venture forward and continue with the process of raising our weapons up. I mean, they're pretty high already. We've got a... What was it again? A plus... I mean, our axes are what? Plus 10 and plus 7, so that's not too bad. And then our, our maces are 6 and 6, so... It's not... It, they're, they're already way higher than they need. The, the, the axes, especially, are way higher than they need to be. <laughs> but we want to keep going. We want to try to get them up to, like, plus 12 or something. And then we'll be set for a while in the areas we're going to do.
Plus, there should be, um... We might be able to find some golden seeds up here and upgrade our potions as well. Oh, look at these guys. Can we do these one at a time, or do we have to kill them both at the same time? I don't remember. on the other side. I'm gonna miss the critical spot hit. Yeah, no. anything. You didn't give me anything. What the hell? over there. Village over there. A couple guys there. That's the grand stairway. Okay, so there should be a uh, yeah, it's over here. I see it. A marker on the grave campsite over here. Yeah. Christian Fandom Geek, what's up, peeps? How you howdy, folks? Howdy, howdy. How you doing, Christian? There's a tree. 
So that might have a thing for us, yep. And then... I think the map was in the castle, right? This could be tricky. We could end up dying on this. We don't know. They shoot arrows at you, and it can be kind of tricky to get up inside of here. But you don't want to get hit by any of the arrows. I'm dodging just in case, because I feel like they sh they'll shoot arrows at me at some point. There it is, there it is, yep. I don't think I'd be able to kill these bosses just yet. But that's not the point of this run right now. That's the reason we're upgrading our weapons, actually. Stuff like that. So that we can kill stuff like that. Giving them the old bob and weave, yeah. The old, the old bob and weave. Alright, let's see. Oh, the map was over there. Dang it. Oh well. We'll get that in a second. So I think there are more... I think there's... If I remember... Ooh, wait, no, there's a map fragment right here. Yeah, so we need to go to this cave. There it is. But I do think there's something else up here that we can get while we're here that'll help us out. I think there's more seeds up here, like more... another golden tree with more seeds and those will give us more... we'll get more potions out of this steel. So we might as well grab them while we're here. this? I don't remember this. Golden Order Seal. Huh. Oh, there's little centipede things. I remember I needed those for crafting. Some stuff. There's pot people all over this area. Oh, I went the wrong way. I went towards the cave that we're supposed to go to and not towards the um, the other tree thing. The other golden tree. The other golden tree was the other direction. That's funny. What? Why is it giving me a tool tip? I don't, I don't understand that. Yeah, I needed to go this way. Pop people! Like hippies? Yeah. <laughs> there are living pots! We'll, we'll go there in this stream. I got a quest that can start going down there, so we can... Whoa! Hey, hey boss guy! Give him the old bob and weave, we'll just... I like how sometimes they just fly in from nowhere. That was so cool. Yeah, alright, so here we go. There should be another golden seed. Oh, there's two of them. 
Look at that. Oh my gosh, he just threw something at me. Can we do him? Can we can we beat this guy? One tough cookie. Oh, we're gonna end up being way back by the tree. Well, we didn't have a lot of ruins, anyways. We just spent them all on our. Oh, he goes. I've seen them. Just joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell was that? There was, like, someone cheering outside. That was weird. Alright, so we want to go to this... We gotta get down to this cave. Somehow. So that's that's what our goal is. So can we just go down there? Or do we have to... Yeah, this looks really high up. I don't think we're going to fall down there. Oh, there we go. See those ledges? We can get down on those ledges over there. Let's try that. Right here, we can probably get down on these. So go down the rocks this way. Oh, there's a secret guy. That's right. Look at him walking around. See him? So he'll come back at some point. Oh, I missed. comes back towards this so we're gonna wait right here got him prayerful strike huh
There's the cave. All right. So we've made it to this cave. I think it's going to end up looking very similar to the last one we were in. We gotta sit down here and give ourselves more flasks, cause we can... We got all those things, we can add charges. So we got one more flask out of this. So we got six and... Six and three. Six... Eh, seven and two. Let's do that, yeah. Because we've been fine on magic power. The magic power lets us use our special ability on the on the axe, and we've been fine with that. Oh, duh. I just ran back out. That's funny. See, these, this looks like a fake one. It is, look at that. And then that looked like one over here too, right? Is that one fake? No? Sure looked like it. Wow, look how much little damage they're doing. So we gotta switch back to the, um... Oh my gosh, there it is. That's what we're going for. Bell number two. It was just right there. That's the whole reason we're in this cave, is to get that. And it, we already... It's, it was right there. Just right when you right when you walk in. Yeah, see, using a mace on these guys is so much better than the axes. The axe took, what, like 20 hits to kill the guy? And these... I mean, granted, we're getting a critical strike on that one, but... Whoa, 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 back up, back up, he's gonna kill you! Oh, damn it. I was in the middle of a swing, I couldn't back up. I mean, I kind of want to finish the dungeon. I want to just see what... If I can get all the way through it, you know? But... It might be above... 
it might actually be above my level because I'm technically in an area I shouldn't be in yet. Give it a go and just see how it goes. I might not be able to kill the boss at the end. I might not have what I need. I knew that looked fake, yeah. But there's something up on this level we gotta get here. Where was it? It's over here, okay. It was up here, right? Yeah, there it is, see? We gotta get that. Now is that the only illusion wall? Is this rock real? Yeah. Is this fake? No. That one fake over there? No. Alright, so it looks like that might be the only fake wall was back here. And it takes us to an elevator. And once again, we gotta look for... There was it! Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm surprised I didn't die. Ledge there. over here. It's got a smithing stone. That was it then, huh? It was just a ledge, yeah. There's gonna be a fake wall here, right? Yep taking us down. This has to be a fake wall too, yep. Weird! We got like a tree to climb over and a walkway to go over this way. Alright, so I think we want to go on the tree branch here. And then we want to drop down, see that? We can drop down onto this tree branch, get this thing, jump over here, and 
we'll try to fight these guys over here. Oh my gosh, they already killed me? What the hell? Look how many of them there are. That's a lot of guys. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he killed me that quick. We want to see what's over there though, don't we? Alright, we're going we're gonna to give it another go. We're going to give it another go and try to get over there. So how did we get there? We went through... We went this way, right? Well, we gotta look out for this little guy. Yeah, we went through this way. drop down to each level. Is there something below this? Like, what if we let this go up? No, that looks like a bottomless pit. <laughs> Sometimes there'd be stuff below those, you know? So first off, there was a guy on the tree, so we gotta watch out for him. clearing those little guys out. There was a lot of them, too. Did that take care of all of them? I mean, is there more over there now? There is. Oh my gosh, those guys are they cause a panic in you, the way that they move and everything. And one thing you don't want to do in this game is panic, because that'll get you killed. There's a stake of Marika there. Interesting, like how does this work? Is there guys down there? I can't tell what's going on. What are these balls? Do we just... Do they come alive if we just go near them? No?
It's, just, it's like almost like those are traps, you know? I don't remember this. Like, I, I had to have done this with my other guy, but I don't remember this. Oh, jeez. Way to put one... Because this looks fake. Yeah. There we go. This looks cool. Huh, can we get over to that guy? gotta be able to jump over there, right? And then what? Is it down there? It's hard to see. Like, which way do we go? I think we can just drop off here. Yeah, okay. And then it's just drop down there. Yeah. Oh, jeez! Oh, wow! That was like almost certain death. That was crazy. This is kind of nuts. I mean, like, is this the boss now? You have to go through all that just to get down here? Like, how are you not going to be dead? Alright, what kind of enemies do we have in here? sounds cool. And there's another... Where does this go? There's another way out here. 
Wow, where does this go? Yeah, I don't remember this. I don't even know. Did I do this on my other guy? Like, I don't remember this at all. But I must have done this. I had to have done this. <laughs> They're like the flying monkeys of Oz. Yeah. Tower of West Atlas. It's tightly blocked shut. Where am I on the map? I don't remember this tower at all. I don't think I went to that spot. I don't think I did this. That's crazy. See, there's there was also... I saw someone who was fighting a boss on, on a video. And I was like, I never saw that boss either. So, I, there's a couple of things that I don't think I ever did in this game. Casey's like, is this Conan on fire? The pink flame things are gone now. <laughs> See, I think I need to have killed a boss, like probably the boss in this area, to get through that door and it will take me to a spot to turn his rune on. I don't know why I ran in here and went to the beginning. I didn't need to do that. Because I was going to teleport back to our home base and see how far I can level up the... Um, see how far up I can level the... Uh, the things... So I could have teleported from the other side. I didn't need to come back out here just to teleport. case of the runes. That's funny. So now we can do one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can go all the way up to twelve. We gotta go to the smithy, smithy, and find out how, what we need, how far we can go. Well, I took you for no matter, lay out your arm. So we need four, we need three more of these, and then we need six of them to go to twelve. So we need nine. We need nine of that one. We need nine for that one. And then we need threes. So nine number fours. And we need nine number threes. Okay. We need nine for the one weapon. And then I think we need twelve. I think every weapon needs twelve. Oh, we only gonna get eleven. Uh, how much is 
that give us if we use one of those? 1200. If we use one of those. And there's the 12th one of that. Alright. So we might be able to have both of our axes at plus 12, right? Was that no matter. what we were going for? 11, 12, yeah. Oh, I need more money. Back already. No matter. I think you can sell them those things and then you can see how much they're worth so they're those are worth 200 each 400 800 1200 16 1250 50,000 that one's worth 50,000 and 25,000 jeez So we're going to want to bring our maces up also. You know what, we should... So we got 5,000 points. All right. We'll see how many we can buy with that. Because we're going to want to raise the maces up. Because we got to... We, we, there's a number of times where we need that kind of power. So we're going to need 12 of those times 2. I'm only going to bring the the morning star up because the other one Back already. No I know we're going to get a that was just a store bought mace and I know we're getting I know we get a better one 
down the somewhere down the road we're gonna end up with a better one. So now we need smithing stone fours. We have zero of them. Might need the ten thousand dollar one. Let's do that. This is why you don't break those runes when you pick up the runes, these things, because this is when you need to do stuff like this, you don't want to. trying to find, you know, kill guys to get runes. You can just do this and uh, level them up. Yeah, the, the Morning Star is a pretty good weapon. So that one I don't mind maxing out. But the other one was a store-bought mace. And I don't know if I want to spend all the money on... Like this little mace. I don't. I think we can just leave it where it is, and then um, we're gonna raise. So we're just gonna raise this up. So I need another thousand points here. Let's see. I need another thousand. That's good. That's good. Okay, there we go. And I wouldn't mind having two swords, but I can't use that sword yet. So, and I can't use this curved sword yet because my intelligence isn't high enough. Onyx Lord's Repulsion. And this has Spinning Slash on it. See, I could use those two great swords, but like I said, I don't have the stats to use them yet. I gotta level up some and level some stats to do different things. It's all right. So we'll go. We'll go with two axes for now and two maces for backup if we need bashing power. And we still don't. I don't think we have any more of these things, right? Ooh. I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing Sneak you, Dis says, you sound like curse. you're ordering Big Smoke's order from GTA. <laughs> twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. Casey says, love the word lurking. I can hear it from across the wing, past the round table. The howling and wailing of spirits in fear of the curse. Can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. Huh. So yeah, I don't have any way to raise any of these guys to level two. Is she, is she gonna give me the dagger yet? I am pleased. Would you like? Then good day to you, my dear. Huh. Or do I need to talk to the guy out here first? Like, where is he? Here he is. Sitting in the chair. What is it? Still milling about. The map indicates where the gateway is hidden. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. Yeah, he doesn't really... 
Ah, I have been waiting for your return. I've decided to leave the Round Table Hold. I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask to beg his instruction. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. some of those <laughs> may the golden order shine through you that's not what I wanted to do Further study of I can happen. Because this one does poison, which I might need in the future. And then the healing ones. Golden order shine through you. Just in case I decide I want to use them in the future. I'm trying not to use magic, but cure poison is something you definitely need at some point. Who else was around? Did I Did I talk to this Always guy? Good to see you safe. Son, what do you need? Yeah, we already got what... I don't know if we need any more of those right yet. And I don't think there's anything she can offer me right now. Because I don't think I've killed any other bosses. Yeah, there's nothing there. That's the same thing I already did before. Okay. Alright. So now... Now we want to do a couple quests. There was... Let me see. I think there's a quest we can get that's up here. Conan in the books hated magic. Yeah, see, yeah, I'd rather just try to go without using magic at all, yeah. See, that, that, and if that's true in the books that he hated magic, that it fits the character, then if I don't ever use magic. So there's... If I remember right, I think there's a guy that's on this. And he starts a quest, so we'll go talk to him and do that quest. Or maybe he's on this. He might be on this piece, right? He's on one of these. <laughs> maybe he's on that one. Yeah, let's go over there.
Yeah, I think it's that one, this one up here. Cause it looks like a bridge, it makes a bridge. And that kinda, this one kinda makes a bridge, so it might be this one. Is anybody there? Yeah, there he Someone is, I hear him. might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the fonts. Oh, Ertry, grant me succor. Ah, you come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... That's very kind, but, um... No. No, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me. Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Young Tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool and plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? <laughs> my fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. Hmm, yes, now allow me to furnish you with a little advice. I would take great care to avoid Godric's tarnished hunts were I in your shoes. That depraved lot are obsessed with sacrificing tarnished like you for the sake of grafting. Honestly, Godric's nothing more than a jumped-up country bumpkin. Lord? Oh, don't make me laugh. First, he hid himself amongst the women folk to flee the capital, then hid from Radan in that castle. Then he insulted Melania, lost to her in battle, only to lick her boots rather than die like a man. <laughs> Has he no shame? The big girl's blouse? And to think, he's the blood of Godfrey, last of the golden lineage. Though you almost wouldn't know it to look at him. Yeah, I almost feel sorry for the chap the more I think of it. What are you? My fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Take it back for me. What are so you I think that's for? it, right? But my fort lies... Yeah. All right. So his fort, his fort is down here. So, oh, we could just teleport. We'll teleport to here, and then uh, <laughs> that'll be easier. And then we'll go in into his fort and take it over. We gotta kill the knight on the top. I think it's a knight. I think there's like a knight guy on the top roof that we gotta kill. If I remember right, there's arrows that shoot at you the first time you go in, so you gotta, like, dodge around these arrows. really get behind that guy that was crazy
guy had red eyes. Do you see that? Oh, is there another one down there? Look at him. See those red eyes? So he's charged up with some kind of magic because he had red eyes. I don't know what that means, but... We can use a guy out here. So I don't have enough magic to cast that one. So... This one says I need a hundred magic to cast it. I don't have a hundred magic. So I'll cast the... We'll cast skeletons and we'll let them come along with us. Because we can cast... Oh, we got a rat here. take all these weapons off the armory here and, you know, any of these pots. Sometimes, believe it or not, but there are people who are hidden in pots and stuff. And you gotta break them to get them out. the night that we gotta go after. Come on, skeletons, help me out. Oh my gosh, we just eradicated him. See what upgrading our weapons did for us? <laughs> it made some of these bosses that we're gonna be taking on that were tough before and are gonna be nothing. I think we got this thing. I think this is what we already did. We are, I think we already got this item here. Yeah, we got we this this is done already. Now we gotta go back to the guy. Oh, is there something out here? Oh, this is the guy that shoots us with arrows. And we can break his thing, yeah. I don't think there's anything else out here, no. So that's it. I think that's all there is in this castle. Alright. Back up to where that guy was, alright? Back up to here. 
I think we have to go back and forth a couple times to do his quest. Because he, um, he goes back to the castle, I think, after you tell him that you've killed the dude. Waiting for you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. Heard steel dagger. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi-Humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Earth Tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. Even the Volga shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask, would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Pledge very service. Well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Earth Tree blessed. Right then. Time for me to head to the flight. Much to do. First. Alright. Now we go back to the fort. And I think he should be in the fort. To, f to finish the quest. Or I don't know if he gives us something else to do yet or not. You actually have to do like three or four people's quests before these guys, a bunch of people will merge together, their quest lines will kind of merge. So you get everybody, all these like three or four different quests up to a certain point, and once all four are like furthest along that they can get, then they merge and become you, you end up doing more for them when they join up in a castle later on. Yeah, see how there's nobody here now? They're all... Because he's... He's, in tra he's at the castle now. There might be some demi-humans in here. Instead of like if full of those people, it's full of demi humans. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I think he's sitting up here. Yeah, there he is. Ah, oh, you, is it? Uh, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my foot. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste, and not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology, but now I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I must begin my search for a true See, so, yeah, that's right. So, what you do is you help another person be the person he's looking for. And that's two of the people. And then there's, then you gotta help the pot people. And then you gotta help the, um, the, uh, what, the, the servant guy. Which I think I did the servant guy's quest already. He's all done. So now it's like help the girl and then help the pot people. So let's go to the pot people. <coughs> I think they live... If I remember correctly, I think they live down here. The pot people do. So we need to go to here... Can we work our way up from here? I don't remember. I don't think we can. How did I get up here? Was it up this way? I might have to go from this side. If we can go down here, that looks like we might be able to go down ledges. We can get to this and go up this way. But if not, we're going to have to go along this ridge and come up on this path. So let's just, let's go to here. And we'll go visit the pot people's house, cause, or village. Because I think that's... That connects to these quests. The pot people, the pot village also... Um, connects with Alexander's quest, which we also already started. Because we did find Alexander on this guy, which we didn't... On my mage, we never found him until later on in the game. Like, we didn't... Oh, there are ledges to get down here. Here we go. So can I just get off right onto this ledge? Yep. And now...
man. <laughs> Alright, while we're here, we're gonna go down. I want to say I feel like I remember there was something in a, down here in a in a thing. I think it's in this. So he was guarding it. It's in here. I don't remember what it was, but I, I remember there was something in here. Tree spear. Raises holy but lowers damage, enhances guard counters, critical hits restore hit points. So that was that must have been a weapon. So we'll do the jar. We'll do the jar people and then we might call it a day after that. Cause um Skeletons up on that ridge, see that? We're gonna go around them. Hate those guys. Oh, here's more of them.
these archers are bad news, man. Those guys are terrible. Again, I had like a thousand arrows in me. How do they shoot so fast, you know? Stormhawk feather. Oh, that's what I need for, um, that's, the, I think, the item I need for the girl that I was talking about to further her quest. Is there anything up here? I don't remember if there was something up here or not. We need to work our way over to there. That's where we gotta go. To say usually there's a wolf leader like a white wolf leader and I think he's up here here. Is that a crab?
billowing out. What kind of smoke is that? He probably would have been better to try and kill with the uh, mace, you know? Because... He was, um, you could crack his shell with a mace, I bet. swamp area with skeletons hanging out on the trees and stuff. Oh, there's going to be one of those boat bosses here. the water anymore. Look, he's up on land. What's he doing boating around the land? <laughs> what the heck maneuver was that? Bandit Ashes. Huh. I don't think I've ever tried that guy before. I almost thought I heard a scarab thing somewhere around here, but I guess I didn't. Now I'm pretty sure... Oh, there it is. Yes, I did hear a scarab thing. It's right here.
Now I'm pretty sure there's a way down here to get to these. Gotta be further along. It must be down here. be too far. Maybe it is closer up that way. Yeah. So you drop down onto there. But I think there is a... If I remember right, I think there is a... A campfire... Right up here... That I should go to first. Because if something goes wrong, we can respawn right up here. there was one somewhere right up here. Ah, oh, it's at the shack. Here we go. We'll collect the painting while we're here. Then we'll head over and jump off the cliff and get to the um, to our wee guys. Dragonfly head. right around here, right? Here it is. So we gotta land on that. There we go. And then we land on the next one. Oh no! Oh shoo! Oh, oh my gosh, I thought I was dead.
Jarberg, yeah. Here's our little guy that we talked to. Hello, Cos. What are you doing here? I didn't think anyone knew about this place. Except us jars. Ah. Oh. Are you going to be the new potentate? Gosh. Truly. That's wonderful news. It's not easy being potentate, though. I know. Show me your hands. It's just a little test, cuz. To see if you've got the right stuff. Hmm. Your skin isn't so smooth, is it? You need slick, slidey hands to be potentate, you know? I'm sorry, cuz. But I don't think you've got what it takes. What a shame. Who are you to talk? Look at your Don't hands. So They're all cause. gnarly. We can still chat. Potentate or not, come back and visit me. When you can. Don't look so glum, cuz. We can still chat. Come back and visit me. I think they have a... Yeah, they have a thing over here. I feel like if you... I think we had to rest at this. And then you can go back and talk to him again. talk to him cuz I think he says something different now oh hello again cuz I'm happy you came back I have good tidings for you cuz have you noticed the rare flowers growing in this village I asked the villagers if you could pick some of them and they said you'd be very welcome Go on, Kaz. You really should pick some of our flowers. Who knows? They might be of some use. Go on, Kaz. Who knows? What the hell are they doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> they're just like wide waving their arms around. We. Another cracked pot. Getting a bunch of crack pots here.
I think when you've picked all the flowers, he'll say something else again. If I remember right. So there's something on the roof of that house. I think that's the only one that has something on the roof, right? And we gotta get on those rocks to get it. to here, jump from roof to roof, and it's here. It's another ritual pot. And that's it, right? I think so. Whoops. We have to rest again. Pass some time and then we'll go back. Razaf's here. Hello, chums. Hello, Razaf. You're coming in right near the end. We were going to do this little bit of this pot people village, Jugville or whatever it's called. Jarberg. Jarberg, right? Oh. Hello again. Say, Cuz, have you met Uncle Alexander? He used to live here with us. There we go. Left to be a champion. I asked to go with him, but he said, the path of champions must be trod alone. So heroic, right? I miss him, though. If you see him, you should ask him to teach you how to fight, Cuz. He's big and tough and strong. Uncle Alexander said he won't be back again. My home is of the past, and the past, as they say, is a different country. I suppose that's part of being a warrior, isn't it? So, please don't tell anyone, cuz. But I'm actually a warrior jar as well. One day, I'll be just like Uncle Alexander, and I'll have to leave the village to become a champion. Uncle Alexander won't come back here again. My home is of the past, and the past... I suppose that's part... Hmm. Now, I think that's all you can do for now. So his quest thing is initiated. You gotta wait till you see, um... I have to wait till I see Alexander again. And then come back here. And I think that's all I can do.
guess that's all like we're gonna do for now. I think that's gonna I think we're gonna end it here. Um We wanna do that cave eventually. And there's another cave, this cave over here too. So we got two more caves for the future to do. And yeah. Alright, I'm gonna bring myself, I think, back to the middle of the map. And then, uh... I think I'm gonna say we're done for now. I'm gonna get some dinner. And then, like I said before at the beginning of the stream, I think it's at 7 or 7.30 Eastern Time. So that's gonna be, um... Midnight for a lot of the guys in the UK or anywhere else. So he might not be up, but... Anyone who's here in the States on Cap Cave's channel, they're going to be doing, let's see, it's Geek Strong, Cap Cave, Dandy, 1981, and uh, Vern from Oker Studios. Looking at, they're, they're, they did a custom, they each made like a project this last couple weeks, and they're going to show off some custom things that they made. Uh, on a show that they have called Points of Articulation. So look out for that one on Cap Cave's channel because we're all going to be watching that to see what they've what these customizers have come up with. All right, guys. This has been a run with Conan using mostly two axes. And uh I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. Thanks for watching.